Welcome to Film in 5D, the show that features everything film in the 5D Mark II. I'm your host, Aaron Hammock. This week, we show you how to build our DIY dolly for around 120 bucks. That's 120 well spent. Indeed. With the increasing availability of professional grade products and their consistent decrease in price, independent filmmakers like myself can make quality work at minimal expense. Now, more than ever, with the Canon 5D Mark II, even you can make professional quality films. However, filmmaking isn't easy, but hey, let's figure it out. On the show, we'll be covering everything DSLR video has to offer, as well as all of the bases from pre to post production. This show will also be featuring an array of short films and skits, all shot in the Canon 5D. So get your glasses on, because this is Film in 5D. There are several DIY dolly builds out there on the internet, and our build derived from many of the ideas that we saw others using. In fact, the general build that we're about to show you I learned from the guys over at Film Riot. However, when I first built it, there were several things that weren't great. But by far the most obvious thing was that the wheels were making a bunch of noise. Yeah, that was pretty sad. It was very sad. I was then told to replace the skateboard wheels with rollerblade wheels, and I was like... I just spent $30 on these. I'm not just going to throw them to the side. Exactly. Thus, we set out to make our own dolly that would make practically no noise. And and some modifications to make it more awesome, of course. I'll put the links in the description for the ones I bought on Amazon to give you a good idea on what you should be looking for. Next, we'll show you how to build this bad boy. But first, wait, what are we doing this week? Oh, I like that one, that's a good one. I was walking in the park last Wednesday. My children were playing in the grass, laughing. My wife asked me to record a video of them. A video of my children with a picture camera. At first I didn't know what to say. She handed me the camera. I just stared at it. Stared at her. I said to myself, how to take it a video? A video of my children. I held the camera in my hand, trying to take the picture. My wife, she just stared. I, I didn't know what to do. I looked up towards my children. They, they were no longer playing, no longer laughing. It was too late. My wife, she was very sad at me. When I got home, I went on to the computer. I wanted to learn how to film with the picture camera. I found this show, Film in 5D, I think it was called. I learned many things. I can now use the picture camera to film my children. Now I wish to learn more. May you teach me more? Please, I, I beg of you. You come to me on the day that my daughter should be married? You have a daughter? You come to ask me a favor? Yes, please. More film and fight the episodes. You come to me not as a friend, but as a viewer of my show. And you demand more episodes? Godfather, please. Well, you'll get your episodes. For one day, and that day may never come. I will call upon you to do a favor for me, but until that day, make good films. Now as we said before, there are a lot of DIY dolly builds out there, and you should look around and see which one's best for you. We made ours as quiet as we possibly could, but that meant that it was limited to a straight track. But of course it's up to you which one you decide on. So for this dolly, you're going to need a piece of birch wood. The one I bought is 3 by 2 feet. Two pieces of angled aluminum, 3 feet long. Four quarter inch machine bolts, 2 to 4 inches long. And four hex nuts to go along with them. You also need 12 by 16 inch machine bolts, 2 inches long. Make sure that they are smooth at the top. This works best for the bearings. 12 lock washers, regular washers, and hex nuts to fit. 
We also use 12 54 millimeter rubber skateboard wheels and 12 bearings to go along with them. Is the camera crooked? You need a socket wrench and a wrench. You need a drill with a quarter inch drill bit and a 5 16 inch drill bit. Finally, you need some PVC pipes. Two one inch, 10 feet long ones should do. As we said for the DIY Steadicam, always use safety goggles. It's better be safe than sorry. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is drill four quarter inch holes on your birch wood and then also on the angled aluminum to match. This is gonna attach the angled aluminum to your board. You're gonna wanna measure and drill 12 by 16 inch holes on your angled aluminum. These will be for the wheels. You should space them about one to one and a half inches apart. One of the first problems that we found with the original design was that the wheels made too much noise. So I'm gonna send it over to Colton. He's gonna show you how to make the wheels just perfect. So this is the most important part of this build, so you better pay attention. Now, you wanna take your wheel here, and you got your bolt with a little smooth part. It doesn't hurt to put some WD-40 on there. Put this in here, and you're gonna take your nut and screw it down on the bolts. Now, the thing to pay attention to here is that this nut is not going to be moving once you screw down the uh, skateboard wheel. What you wanna do, is take a lock washer here. This will prevent this from unscrewing over time. What are you doing? Focusing. This is pretty intense. I can tell. Trying to follow the instructions, man. This is intense. <laughs> what instructions? The build. I'm trying to figure out how he's doing this. This wheel is crazy. Put it into the angled aluminum, like so. Put a washer here for good measure. Get on the other nut. And what you're gonna be doing when you're tightening out this uh, outer nut is you're just gonna be securing this and tightening this down. So these two things are squishing. This is squishing, sandwiching in between the aluminum. So this nut doesn't move. So um, I forgot to mention, when you're tightening down this nut, you wanna make it tight enough so that the uh, wheel can't move side to side, but it still goes smoothly like this. And pretty much if you do it right, you should get it like that. So all you have to do is just hold this, then tighten this down, and then it'll stop here. And then this wheel will be free to move. Attach your two wheel sets to the birch wood using the one quarter inch screws and the hex nuts. And then you're done. We've also taken this build further by making a detachable arm that you can use to push and pull the dolly. Sick! And that's our DIY dolly build. Here's some of the shots that we use this in some of our past kits. And that's it for this week. If you'd like, you can follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com forward slash Aaron Hammock. We'll be back next week to show you some of the common practices when it comes to two system sound recording with the H4N Zoom. Finally some love for the unsung hero boom mic guy? No, I'm actually going to teach them how to properly hold a boom, not whatever the hell you're doing right now. <laughs> that hurts me, Aaron. That hurts me. It's the, the truth. It's the truth. The truth shall set you free. I looked up towards my children. Dude, that was good. That, was that one was good. a good one. That